Woody Womack and Sam Spiegelman here to talk about four-star receiver Destin Hill. He's headed to Florida State. Finally, Sam, we've been waiting for him to commit for about eight months. Uh, how did the Seminoles finally close the deal here? Yeah, I think uh, Florida State uh, started to gain a, an advantage with Hill. He, he visited multiple times uh, pre-COVID, uh, right at the start of, of 2020, and what a year that turned out to be. Um, but, you know, at different points, Alabama, Florida, um, LSU, Oklahoma, USC were all involved. Alabama stayed in touch uh, pretty late into the cycle. The same with Florida. Uh, but Mike Norvell ended up winning this one. It's a big one. He's had a, a lot of success recruiting Louisiana and in particular New Orleans. He's had a lot of success of, of landing guys out of Edna Carr, which, as you know, is a New Orleans powerhouse when it comes to talent. Um, David Johnson was first to offer Hill when he had the same position on Tennessee staff. That relationship never wanes. And I think Norvell's role in Florida State's offense and what they're building there in Tallahassee, that kind of went a long way in, in kind of sealing the deal for Hill and finally committing February 3rd after what felt like a year of, of being really close to doing it. Um, he's really an explosive playmaker. We saw him at the Rivals camp, uh, kind of guy that can kind of step in right away, especially if Mackenzie Milton is healthy and playing for the Seminoles. Yeah, he's, um, he's a player that's continued to get better each year in, uh, in, in Carr's receiving core. Um, we, we know he has four, four speed. He's, he's gotten better at attacking the ball in the air and, and beating out, you know, not only single, but double coverage a lot when, when teams are lining up against him, mostly double teams. He's, he's quick, he's tough. Um, he made a ton of plays on bubble screens, making plays after the catch and the return game can line up in the slot on the outside. He could do a lot of different things with that speed and those hands. Um, I think he's going to continue to get better. And I think they're going to find creative ways to use him at Florida state. All right, for more signing day coverage from the Seminoles, be sure to check out warchant.com. Thanks, Sam.